Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alina Naza and today we're going to discuss why popular music is low-key obsessed with anime. Some anime is better than real movies, like honestly. In the last couple of months alone, huge names like Billie Eilish, The Weeknd, Snake Hips, and Tovlo have all opted to grace their new music with anime-styled videos. F yeah. I want to look into the question of why anime and why not anything else? Why not make Spongebob themed videos? So today, you and I are gonna look at precisely that. Naturally, the first reason is the global pandemic. With the lack of opportunities to make large-scale productions due to social distancing measures around the world, animation as a general has been on the boom as a seemingly original solution to this problem. In fact, it's probably a whole lot cheaper as well to commission a four-minute cartoon rather than hiring a whole-ass production team. And many artists and their teams have caught the gist of this, excluding, of course, Taylor Swift, who DIYs everything in such a way that makes the pandemic look like a slight inconvenience. But I digress. Okay, so now that we've covered the practical reasons, let's look into why the precise anime genre and not some other animation style. To understand this properly, we need to look into the concept of anime itself and what it stands for in Japanese culture. To put it in a nutshell, anime often explores the human condition. It can be incredibly deep, but also irreverent and comedic at the same time. Mix in some supernatural elements and you've got the perfect medium to light up people's imaginations, whisk them into another reality, and get into the core of the subconscious. It does so by framing serious issues in animated and seemingly harmless packaging. What I mean is that anime gets people to put their guards down. For animation is often considered somehow less deep, serious, important than actual film. But ironically, it oftentimes strikes deeper exactly because of that. And the creators of Japanese anime have exploited this opening fully, with works like Death Note, Full Metal Alchemist, and Cowboy Bebop that engage their viewers' opinions on criminality, justice, morality, and even loss. Many people, myself included, when watching these works, are left surprised with just how emotionally demanding an animation can be. Thus, the Western scene started noticing this as well. And none more other than The Weeknd with his animated clip for Snow Child. The clip was actually produced by the Art Shagio Studio, which is apparently the first black-owned anime studio. So let's analyze this music video a little bit closer. The Weeknd traces every one of his past and present artist personas in the Snow Child music video. He pays great attention to his past riddled with drugs, money, and alcohol, and it shows that no matter how far The Weeknd runs from his fast life, it just keeps catching up to him. Through Canada to LA and finally his destination Las Vegas, where he's met by an animated still of his blinding lights video. We see all of the weekend's emotions, the tears, the pain, the anger, the fear, but only through animation. Billie Eilish has also jumped on this trend with her song My Future, which features a Studio Ghibli-esque video in which she roams around a forest until she reaches a metaphorical beanstalk that brings her up to the sky. There is great, great, great accents on the nature and the mood surrounding her, and the animation does an amazing job of metaphorically relaying her feelings and emotions. Similar examples can also be found in Tovlo's work and even Rico Nasty to an extent. However, let's throw it back and look at who and how originated this trend. None other than my faves, my bays. Daft Punk. One more time. If you are a big fan of Daft Punk, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. And it is the Interstellar 5555, the story of a secret source system, album, video, movie, is the only way I can put that. Visual realization of their album, Discovery. Basically, it's a long ass music video for that album. It tells the story of abduction and rescue of an interstellar pop band. The idea behind it was to make science fiction and the music industry. And of course, there is no other better way than through animation and more precisely, anime. That is the best genre to combine the seemingly uncombinable. Is that a word? Uncombinable? I don't think so, but you get what I mean. The film was produced by Toy Animation and has no dialogue and very minimal sound. It basically puts the music at the forefront of it. But this animation truly explores it all. Love, hate, exploitation, loss, the good, the bad, and the animated. Daft Punk marked a cultural reset. It was a cultural reset. And brought something that was considered niche 
and uh, on the margins of popular culture to its fore and to its center. The way that it's happening right now all over again. And guys, if you have not had a chance to watch it yet, please, please, please go and watch it. It's only an hour long, and honestly, it's gonna take you on an emotional roller coaster. Another awesome example that comes to mind are my childhood friends, the gorillas. The amount of time, guys, that I spent watching their clips and researching them at the tender age of 11, I truly, I truly felt like I was part of the gang. The project isn't necessarily officially anime, However, it still incorporates comparatively strange myth and behavior that has become synonymous with anime and manga. The difference, however, between these two examples and the former of Billie Eilish and Snow Child is the actual insertion of the real-life singers in animated form into the music videos. Whereas gorillas are all fictional and Daft Punk barely included themselves in the Interstellar movie, Billie Eilish and The Weeknd can now be seen in front of our eyes in animated form. It's an interesting choice because I feel like it reinforces their icon image. And through reiterations of themselves as animations, that's a tongue twister, reiterations, animation, the artists add more mystery to both their personas, the music video, and the song at hand. It leaves room for our imagination and saves the artist from being more vulnerable than he or she would want to be in front of the camera. So I find that extremely interesting because anime is the perfect, perfect medium through which to explore the human condition. And clearly, The Weeknd and Billie Eilish have both noticed that, especially given that the songs that I'm discussing in this video are of a very personal and intimate nature that delves deeply into their emotional status right now and even in The Weeknd's case, the trauma and the pain that he has gone through. All in all, obviously the situation right now is forcing everyone to make more creative choices. The question then stands, will this trend last? Probably, probably not, but it does make for an interesting and important detour, showing that the distance between what was once considered geek culture and what is now considered pop culture has shrunk considerably and continues to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some interesting info out of it. And this was Alina. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Ciao, ciao. <music> Through reiterations of themselves as animations, that's a tongue twister, reiterations, animations. And through the reiterations of themselves of anime and through the reiterate and through the reiterations of themselves as animations.